<sighs> I tell you, my mother bloody will call and ask for fucking anything because she's so fucking lazy. Like, she never ever makes her own cup of coffee. Ever. I remember the time where, literally, she called me and I was at my granny's at the time. And she called, and she's like, oh, can you make us a cup of coffee? I went, no, I'm at Grace. She went, oh, you went out? Didn't even notice. Yeah, the box is not in brilliant condition, and that I've seen worse, like, um, but yeah, for the price I paid for this, because this thing, it's got the original price on, which was a tenner. I can't remember if that was the original retail price or whether that's a reduced price. It was between 10 and 15 pound anyway. But yeah, this is the Bang 10 Alien Force. They call it the Ultimate Omnitrix, just to differentiate it. Um, I already have one of these. In fact, I think I've got two of them. Uh, but none in the box. Uh, I never got one one of these brand new back in the day. So, yeah, when I saw this on eBay, it, the box is a little bit... But I, let, let me have a look at the picture. Again, actually. Let me have a look at that picture. Have it. So, I paid £9.54 for it, plus £5.10 postage, which, yeah, is a little bit much for it. I'd say, um... Yeah, I can't tell if this has gotten, I think this has gotten a little bit wet. This must have gotten wet at some point because it's all crinkled on the back and... Yeah, because the way this cardboard is, it's all bent up like that. I think it's gotten wet at some point. I'll just show the original picture there and there. Hmm. Oh yes, they've shoved that into the box, all right. I, I don't know if you can see that, but there's no creasing along there, whereas there is there. So I was right, they have basically pushed it into a box, which is too small for it. Why? Especially when you're charging that much for postage. I thought it seemed a bit bent, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit annoyed at that. I'm, I'm not too happy. I'm not too happy about that, and it clearly has gotten wet at some point, or damp. But uh, yeah, this is the original one. The thing is though, like, uh, these things though brand new now do do fetch a fairly high price. So I, I, regardless of it, it still is a decent deal for this. It still is a decent deal for it. I'm just gonna put that down. But um, yeah, I never got one brand new uh, back when they were actually in the shops. And I'll tell you why. Uh, basically, I remember my brother got one, he got one, this one, uh, I don't know what he did with his, but he did get one brand new, this guy I do remember. They did later re-release this in 2009, late 2009, uh, I think it was, uh, where they renamed it to the Bang 10 Omnitrix X10, which was basically the exact same thing as this again, the packaging was slightly different. And uh, the only difference between the X10 version and this one is basically um, the two sort of push sections on the side of the Omnitrix actually released these, which, what are they called again? Collect all the ailing voices. It doesn't say what they actually are called. I don't know, some people call them the alien toppers or whatever they are, but basically you buy all of, you know, the individual figures and that would come with them and you put them on the top, you know, the clicking to the Omnitrix and when you press down it would then play the transformation sound effect and then also a voice clip of basically from, which was lifted directly from the show of a character, you know, whatever alien Ben had transformed into of it seeing its name. And obviously they gave you one, they gave you a swamp fire with this one. So it kind of meant if you did buy the swamp fire figure, you were just, you know, you were getting the exact same one again. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, they made them out of clear plastic. Yeah, they made them out of clear plastic. I don't know why, because because it would have made more sense to make them out of green and that. But uh, yeah, there was a single LED on this and... Um, 
The LED is not green, if I remember rightly. The lens here bit is, but the actual LED itself uh, is white on this one, and on the Omnitrix X10 version, which is the later one, um, it was actually a UV light because uh, they had some like hidden codes, which would show up if uh, you put it up to a UV light. So that's what they did with that one, uh, if I remember rightly. But yeah, they released that. Um, you don't see that X10 version pop up very often on eBay. And again, basically, without you know having the two, without someone actually demonstrating it in the picture. It's almost impossible to distinguish the two of them because the only difference is the colour of the LED and also basically the, the push sections at the side because a problem with, with this original one is basically when you put these like crystal toppers or whatever you want to call them on there basically a lot of the time they would get stuck and some kids would actually end up breaking them trying to pull them back off so they they improved it a bit by basically having you press the side bits in and then that would release it so there's something they slightly changed down the line but yeah um also uh no demonstration with this one either that was another thing uh this one um is better to actually keep in display as well because this one doesn't have any batteries in it uh I just checked, yeah, there's no, no information about batteries being included. The X10 version does have batteries included because that one had a small cutout where you could actually demo it. Uh, it was actually cut out, actually, around. it actually sat further down around here and you could actually twist it around. So there was that. Anyway, I'll go into the story. So, in 2012, um, in, I'm going to say... Late July, August. It was whenever the London 2012 Olympics were on, I remember. It was sometime during that time. So I can't remember exactly when. But I remember I was on holiday um, in Spain. And uh, basically I'd... Uh, basically being... Recently re-watching, you know, Ben 10 Alien Force. And also uh, re-watching... Uh, re sorry, replaying the DS games as well on, on my brother and sister's DS's for them. <laughs> Basically, I would complete the games for them, and uh, I thought to myself, you know what, I would like, I would like uh, the Alien Force Omnitrix. I do quite like its design. It's, it's possibly my favourite design out of them. I don't know. It's definitely. I think this is po probably for me the best toy out of them. One of the best toys out of them. But anyway. So I was on hol holiday at the time and I thought, you know, maybe I might see one when I'm away. Because I did know Spain was a little bit more behind when it came to new episodes of Bang 10 than we were. Now this was also when Ultimate Alien had already ended in the US. I can't remember if it had ended in the UK. And that Omniverse was on the horizon. But I don't know if it had... In fact, no, it wasn't... Was it? Yeah, it was 2012. It was 2012. Couldn't have been 2011, no. It had to be 2012. Because it was later on. Yeah, it was 2012. So anyway, so it was before... It was before Omniverse debuted, I believe. And, uh... So, yeah. Now, what I wanted to do... Is uh, get one, that, but as I said, by this point, obviously they were long gone from the shops. They were long gone. They stops, you know. The last time you could really pick them up in a shop was like, in, you know, early to mid twenty ten. And that, but when I was in Spain, um, there was this, like, uh, supermarket -y type shop, and on the top floor they had some toys, and in the, literally at the back of one of the shelves they had one of these. They had one of these. But the price on it, I think, was either 25 or possibly even 30 euros. Which was net at the time, you know, the exchange rate at the time. It was pretty much like it is now. It was nearly the same amount in pounds. Maybe a couple of pounds less. Which my mum said no to that, you know. That was too, too much and that's... 
uh, especially considering that one was only a tenner. Um, it did. It did, thankfully though, end up playing out for me. It did end up playing out for me because um, I ended up finding one on eBay, which was one of these loose, but it had. I think, if not all, most of the Crystal Light top was on, included. And also an original uh, Bang 10 05 Omnitrix included, as well. And, uh, yeah, I can't. I think that cost a tenner total, like, including delivery and everything. So, you know, it, that was, I think, won the bidding and that when I was away on holiday, I think. I don't know if I was away on holiday or we'd just gotten back. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, that's how I ended up getting that. And at the time, I thought, actually, much bad idea. And it was. And it was. And it's a good job I did get that original Omnitrix, because that one does tend to go for more considerably more than this one now. Even though there is just loads of them. But anyway, let's continue the story. Sorry this one's being a lot story-focused, but, I do, you know, where else am I going to tell this story? So, I do remember, not long afterwards... I was in Phoenix, and I'm wondering if this came from Phoenix because that does look like one of their stickers. It looks like possibly either Phoenix or Junglist, I don't know. I mean, it is very generic, but they did use stickers like that in their toy department. But anyway, I was in Phoenix, which to my US viewers, uh, Phoenix and places like Junglist are big, basically massive like department type stores. And um, on the top floor was the, the toy floor. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a shell of its former self now, by the way. It used to be basically almost the entire floor. Now, it's a tiny little section of toys now. Not a great variety. Uh, I remember during its peak, it used to have a Build-A-Bear and uh, a Greenger Games, which were part of it. Uh, and I think it was during that time, like, who remembers Green Tree Games? Yeah, but basically, uh, my lo my local Phoenix, which I think is the original one at Newcastle, I think that's the first Phoenix or one of the first ones. I know John Lewis, I think, started in Liverpool, if I remember rightly. I've been to Liverpool score, it's a pretty good score. But, um, yeah, I remember that. I can't remember why, why I was in Phoenix for, I don't know, possibly getting something else. I was just there looking. But I remember behind the tills... Uh, there was like a display behind the tills, and then at the very top, like at the very back, and they were hidden quite far back, I saw two Ben 10 Ultimate Omnitrixes. But uh, it wasn't um, the original release, and it wasn't the aforementioned X10 version, which was basically the same as this, I'd seen it out before. No, 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 no. This was something else. And I've got to find a picture of it. Um, just to show on camera. Uh, um, Nutrix. Here we go. This was... This. They had two of these there. This might have been... I can't remember whether this was before I went on holiday or after. I can't remember. I do remember how much it was, though. It was £30. It was about... It was roughly around £30 in Phoenix, if I remember rightly. Which, bear in mind, at the time, you know, these would have been going for, again, about a tenner. And that... You know, and it was me. I think since they were so expensive, I think that's the only reason they had them there at Phoenix. That was the only reason they had them there. And I regret not getting them. I do regret not getting them. Mind, probably this was again. This I would have been thirteen at the time, so I probably didn't have any money to get them. And that. I mean, I didn't get. Uh, my first, like, bank account until I was 14. I didn't have my own bank account until I was about 14, so... Yeah. I might have been... Well, was either at the very end of... I remember it wasn't until high school. I went into high school in September 
2012 so it would have been just before then but yeah I basically had pretty much no money but yeah I wish I'd have gotten one because there was a couple of differences with this one so if I just draw the picture so the Omnitrix itself was again pretty much the same thing except the ring on this rather than being basically grey plastic it was chrome it was chrome plated which is obviously inaccurate to the actual show, in fact, so is this really. You can see a prototype image and that of, of it on the back. I don't know if that's actually a real prototype or just a mock-up. It does look like a real prototype, though. But you can see on that they've used silver, whereas this they've used grey. Which, I mean, the actual one, it's a sort of shade of grey. It does kind of depend. But this one is technically more accurate to it, anyway. Something had a chrome ring around it. I believe the LED was green on that one. It was either green or white. I think it was actually green, which again was an improvement more accurate. And that, but the main thing is also it came with all of the alien like crystal toppers. I don't know if you can just about see them there. But you might notice something. They're green. Yeah, they're green. Apart from Alien X's. Alien X's was black. It was like a translucent sort of... Um, sparkly black. But yeah, it was more accurate in that. And it came with basically all of the Alien uh, Crystal Toppers. And yeah... I did want... And the thing is, I did want to get one. The problem is, these things are exceptionally rare like there's only one on ebay currently one no others this is how much the seller's wanting and these do not come on ebay very often these really do not come on ebay any often i've i've never even seen like the ones i see come on ebay are generally all brand new as well they're all brand new i've never very re I think I've maybe seen a used one once on eBay, but yeah. Um, but the thing is, uh, at the time I had no idea about this. I was just, I was just looking at it and going, oh, oh right. Uh, I didn't even realise it had the chrome ring. I didn't even realise the ring was chrome because again it was like right at the back in, in, on a dark top shelf. And I just thought, basically I thought, oh, it comes with all the crystal. And I thought nothing of it at the time. And yeah, I wish I'd have made a mental note of that and gone back at some point. Like next time, you know, I got any money or birthday or anything like that to go back and get it. Because um, I do remember um, watching a video about it. A YouTuber did a video about it. I can't remember whose it was I did it, who I watched. And I was just like, oh, I really want that version. And when I went back, it was gone. They were gone. I'd ne I've never seen it anywhere else in person. Here in the UK. So, I'm guessing it had... I mean, it must have had a very, very limited release. Uh, here in the UK. And it probably had a very limited release across the board. It was the last version, like, proper... It was the last version of this version of uh, the Ultimate Omnitrix to ever get released. And, um, yeah, this was basically right at... At the end of Alien Force, in fact, Ultimate Alien might have even begun by that point. I can't remember. I think it came out in 2010, or maybe later on. Who knows? Uh, but still, it was the very last one that was ever released. But yeah, um, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, this thing never got a re-release. Interestingly, the original Ben 10 Omnitrix uh, toy, the original one, that did get a re-releasing. I think around 2011. I think because. Uh, I've seen pictures of it. I've seen pictures of it. The packaging is different. Um, it's got uh, the newer type uh, Bang Tang logo. And no, I'm not talking about the 2016 reboot. That was a different toy company altogether because uh, Bandai was the one behind uh, basically all of the original series toys. But that one did actually have a, a re-release, which is why I think uh, that one you know pops up on that so often that that one actually had a re-release. Um... 
And I think the only reason possibly they did, I think it was to coincide possibly with either Ben 10 Destroy All Aliens or possibly his appearance in Ultimate Alien. I don't know. This has gone on a while, this video. Sorry if this has been an absolute bore. I know it is going to be to a lot of people and to those people I do apologise. But, uh, yeah, um, I went on I went on a massive tangent there, basically telling the, st the whole story about this. So, yeah, um, hopefully I'll never need to again. In terms of the Ultimatrixes, um, none of them are great. Not a single one of them, like, a lot. But I do own the rare one. Did I do an unboxing on that on this channel? I can't remember if that is before I did unboxings on this channel. But I do have the rarest version of that one. By sheer luck. I got, I might have tracked that one down, but that is uh, the Ultimate Ultimatrix, which is a translucent, the translucent green one with the lights and that. I do have that one. I don't have the disc one. I don't have the disc base one, which was meant to be the main one. My brother does, but he hasn't a clue where it's gone. And I do have some old uh, footage on when I got uh, the Omniverse Omnitrix, which I remember was £25 at the time. Which, yeah, it was only two years after this, yet the price was more than double. But um, on my other main six sec channel from years and years ago, you will find a video where I review it and take a look at it, and I briefly c compare it and show the disc Ultimatrix in comparison to it and uh, yeah ever since then I've no idea what my brother did with that but uh, yeah he, n he never got the Omniverse Omnitrix which I did <laughs> uh, well I've got some of them I've got I've got two of the original versions and one of the later ones as well so yeah but there we go there we go people who knows uh, let, me let me know if I should ever I'm I'm debating this, whether I should do a video going through all of my Ben 10 Omnitrixes slash uh, Ultimatrix. So, yeah. Alright, it's still the 9th of um, July. It's the evening now, and... Uh, check the photos is working. There we go. Uh, Rare Waves got back to me on the 3 days grace vinyl, and they offered me a 20% uh, refund, which I accepted. So, yeah. And uh, something else came in the post... This is an um, every bag, and that you can tell this was sent at the end of June. I'm hoping this is all right, and that because uh, yeah, but this cost me 99. The item itself cost me 99p, and the delivery was 294. So it's a bag inside of a bag. Oh, it's like bloody past the parcel this. It's another bag this is like tissue. There it is. So this is an ultimate Omnitrix. Which for the price I got it for a pretty good price. That I don't know if you can see, but that LED bulb has been bent. Ooh. It does light up. It does light up. I don't know if I can show you. The battery is very low in it though. I can't tell if it's the battery that's low because of the LED or whether it is just because it's been bent. But that LED is definitely bent. No. Nah. That LED. Let's, let's, um, oh, where's my, where, where is something to, there we go. No, we won't use that. We'll use something else. Where's my screwdriver going? Ah, tweezers, that'll do. So I'm gonna do is, uh, the way this works is basically there's, uh, one, two, three, four. There's five little uh, 
push buttons inside there and each of the Crisco toppers would press them down. I don't think I've got any to hand, no. So let's see if I can make a sound of it by pushing them. So we've got swamp fire there. Um, oh, you can you can really hear the batteries going in this thing. Ooh, don't know if you can see that, but that screw. Yeah, that is rusty, that screw. Nah, it, it just keeps powering off. Um, let's keep the batteries out. This thing, because uh, it is dying. It is utterly dying. Unfortunately, I don't think I've got any white vinegar to hand either. Or if I do, I don't know where it is. Um, or lemon juice, but yeah. Well, there doesn't seem to be any corrosion. I'm just going to put them, there we go, straight in the bin, uh, looks like, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like I got in there just in time, it looks like there was just about to start being a bit of corrosion in there, um, yeah, what I'm going to do though is just put, put that to one side, because although I don't have any, like, brand new batteries, I do have, just to the side of me, yes. So uh, this is a 14th Dr. Forbidden Planet exclusive sonic screwdriver. I've done a review of it on my uh, main channel. But uh, this will have some batteries in it. And I need to take the batteries out of this thing anyway. But uh, this and the Omnitrix will use the same batteries. So this should work. Um, where's my screwdriver box again? Uh, it's handy this that it's got some holes in the back so you can uh, push the batteries out but yeah this comes with uh, demo demo batteries which should all be all good and hunky dory this last battery does not want to come out don't know why this last battery does doesn't want to come out. You want to be free, don't you, last battery? But yeah, I wasn't. I don't need another um, Alien Force Omnitrix or Ultimate Omnitrix, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me. Um, I didn't need another one, but when I saw one going so cheap, yeah, I think the spring is a little bit broken in this thing as well, all a bit rusted, which is why it also keeps transforming bugs here. This will let me know, you know, whether the battery itself, whether the LED itself is uh, busted or not. So I'll put those in there. This also seems to be the cheapest one you'll find. There we go. Oh! I think this is the, yeah! I don't know if this has come across on camera, but this is a variant I don't actually have. This is the X10 version I was talking about. So I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but there's it is various in real life. Um, that this is coming across as purple, whereas the other ones I have, it's the original release, the white one. So yeah, this is an X10 version, so it's actually a version I don't have, I believe. You can hear that as soon as I move it at all, it's 
it thinks it's being pressed down at all and that's because basically the spring or the locking mechanism isn't working properly but regardless now if I hold one of the tabs down Hooray! Okay, I thought there was five, there's actually only four push buttons in here. So yeah, it's annoying that the LED is bent in this one, because it means it's not lighting up the whole thing properly, it's actually pointing down slightly. But yeah, the fact that it's the X10 version, uh, which is the version I didn't, I don't believe I have. But yeah, you can hear there. I mean, this is a problem on all of them, where basically either the spring is starting to go or the thing that keeps it locked down is starting to go. Let's keep them there now. Yeah, it depends. In certain positions it's locking properly, but I don't know if you can see that. It's locking properly on that side, it isn't on this side, which is what is making it go like that. But, yeah. But well, there it is, there it is, uh, so, yeah. This is often the way people store it like that. But uh, while I'm here, I shall take the back those batteries right back out. At, at some point, if I remember, I will, you know, I will put that uh, rusted, corroded screw in some... Um, white vinegar if I have any or some uh, lemon juice because sometimes lemon juice will do the job but yeah overall overall despite being sent in uh, some basically tissue and a and a little plastic bag it's arrived safely it's obviously missing all the crystal toppers and that but you can still make it make that noise I've um I don't know where mine are and that, I've got a feeling I've got a couple that have fallen behind uh, my TV. And that. There we go. But, regardless, you know, I'll probably give it another clean as well. It does need a bit of a clean, this one. It's got some... Ugh, ugh, what is that? Ooh, Lovely. Yeah. Good thing about this one as well is that... Uh, you can, I believe on this one, you can remove the straps. They are screwed in, but I don't know if they're removable from the body. But I think you can remove the straps on this one, which would make it cleaning easier. So, yeah. But for now, for now, we'll 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 call it we'll call it a day for now. So, yeah. There we go. And in my opinion, this was the best Omnitrix toy that was ever released it was the most accurate and that to the show and that as well so yeah i waffle on quite a bit on these ones though now so yeah okay it's the 20th of july today i look all hot and flustered because it's really hot today package here this came from vinted and oh boy did this take a while to arrive i'm just gonna actually rip it i don't want to risk a knife on this because they've packed it really tight in just a carrier bag type thing bag type one uh, but yeah, um, this took forever to arrive because the seller of Vinted, because 
There's a lot of vintage, uh, basically uh, took forever, waited until literally the last minute to post it because a couple of days before, you know, they had to post it by. So it being like, I don't know, nearly two weeks. And I said to them, uh, oh, the tracking information doesn't work and that. Have you posted it? And they went, no, I haven't posted it. I've got until the 15th to post it. And I was thinking, well, yeah, you've got until the 15th. But that doesn't mean, you know, you have to wait until that. And literally, she waited, I'm not joking, she waited until half past nine at night. So, three and a half hours. Actually, no, two and a half hours, sorry. Two and a half hours before, you know, I would have automatically just got my refund and that because, you know, I haven't posted it. She waited until then to post it. Here it is, though. This cost me £25, including the delivery and the buyer's protection. But it's the disc ultimatrix. Yep. Ooh. Now that... Yeah. I'd... Yes, it is coming off. It is coming off. That's thankfully not... Looks like it might come off with the magic eraser or something, but I did just take a little bit off with it with just my fingernail. But also... Comes with some discs as well. Comes with a... Uh, five discs so that's good because um yeah a lot of the time when you have when i do see these pop up on ebay they're almost always missing one the strap or two they don't have any discs now this is a oh it is working look yeah so this one to me was a massive downgrade compared to the ultimate omnitrix in terms of the toy you know, uh, in terms of design, this is my favourite design of um, all of them. But, uh, yeah, because for some reason, rather than doing the crystal-like toppers that this one did, continuing, you know, that, but obviously with different variants, different aliens and that, this one decided to be deliberately incompatible. And to be honest, none of the Ultimatrixes, the toys at least, are very good. For example, um, on this one ring here that does absolutely nothing on this one this is the only one you can actually rotate actually 360 degrees the only other one that rotates at all is the ultimate ultimatrix but that one you can only turn to the to the side to each side about 45 degrees so yeah but uh you know this one has that but it doesn't this doesn't do anything unlike uh with this one where it would make a sound effect so yeah also with this one the way it works is really weird because rather than um, you know it the whole thing popping up like this and then you slamming it down like that like you know Ben does in the show this one's really weird this section here doesn't pop up instead the section inside of here pops up which is really weird so what you do is uh, you get one of these discs here, you slide it in, in fact we'll turn it on for this, so, there we go. And then, there we go, which, yeah, you can't, it's weird, uh, you, it pops up for it to transform, so you can't actually do the thing where you slam it down. When you do press it down, you just press it down to release it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really odd like that. This one, though, was super easy uh, to press the little micro switch buttons on there to get the different aliens. But we'll use the ones that we've got here. We got two ultimate humongous souls. 
It might be because I think Ultimate Humongous I think was the one that came with it. So if they then bought the figure, they then would have got another one. So that makes sense, why? Right. And this is going to be Ultimate Swamp Fire. So yeah, there we go. Now, what happens if you've got no disc in? It doesn't do anything. Yeah. So at least, you know, with this one, if you didn't have anything on it, it would just make the generic transformation sound effect. This one, not the case. However, obviously you can cheat it by simply holding down one of the buttons. Try this one. Oh, so one of them, that one does nothing. So it's my echo echo. I don't think I'll be able to hold all four with just my fingers. That was swamp, okay. Next spider monkey again. Okay. Now, this one is also just got a basic uh, velcro type strap which again is very easy to lose because it can literally just slide out like this now the one advantage of this using that uh, is this is by far the most comfortable one to wear this is easily the most comfortable one to wear compared to the other this one I've forgotten about this one how this one is very uncomfortable to wear because it basically these plastic parts here you know, point downwards and dig into you. So yeah, the so while annoyingly it didn't continue the design of the Ultimatrix all the way around, and that, like, you know, the Ultimate Omnitrix did, at least, you know, it did, the strap uh, was comfortable enough, and, you know, if it was too small for your wrist, you could swap it out. There was some uh, Ultimatrixes released uh, that did not have a fabric strap like this. In fact, I think only this one and uh, the Ultimate Ultimatrix had the fabric strap. The other one had very thin plastic ones that were attached to it. So, but yeah, there it is. And uh, I'm finally happy to have it. <laughs> Annoyingly, you know, I wouldn't need to buy one if my brother knew where his was. If he knew where his was, then uh, he would have just sold me his or possibly even just given it to me. I don't know where he said, you know, if he ever finds it, I can have it. Whether I have to buy it off him or not, but... Still... This one, I think, in terms of looks... This one, in terms of looks, is the most accurate to it. Not my favourite though. This one is not my favourite, despite that. Uh, my favourite is actually the Ultimate Ultimatrix, even though that's even less accurate to it. I just like the translucent plastic and glowiness. I, I have to find where I've put it, because I put it in storage, and I've no idea where it is. I put it along with all my other ones, but yeah. Also this one, this one really rattles. So, but uh, yeah. There we go. There seems to be a lot less of these out there. And that there does seem to be a lot less of them out there. I remember when my brother did get this. Um, he didn't play with it very much. He didn't use it very much. He actually went back to this one uh, very quickly. So, but um, yeah, there we go. All right, so I've learned the. Half past nine at night um, on the uh, 3rd of August. I'm a bit tired because, oh god, it's been too hot. <laughs> it's been too hot. Anyway, another pack here. Um, 
this came um, from uh, Vinted. You can tell I'm excited because I'm not making legit sense. Also, I should mention, uh, I when I bought this Ultimatrix from the Salon Vinted, now remember, this seller waited until just after 9 o'clock, I think it was about just after 9 or possibly even half past 9 at night, literally hours before, you know, it, Vinted would have automatically gave me a refund because they waited until the literal last minute to send it. And uh, basically, when I was filling in the feedback, um, I gave everything positive, apart from the gazpatch time, which I gave it a... I don't know if it was two stars or three stars. And, oh boy, the seller gave me all negative feedback and um, sent me two paragraphs of how I was ungrateful and that and never, bu never let me buy anything from them ever again. And that, and how I was completely blah blah blah, un unreasonable and horrible, and sh I should be grateful, and blah blah blah. It's just like, for fuck's sake, man. Uh, this vintage seller, though, didn't uh, do that. Like, it took a, a day or so for them to send it, which, perfectly fine, perfectly reasonable. Whereas that other seller, again, literally, we're going to last bloody second. It, it took, it was like two weeks for them to send it. But yeah, uh, what this is, this cost me £15 total, um, including like delivery and the buyer's protection fee. Again, I don't know why they have them all as separate. Like, can you not just have it all as just one price? Or, you know, the postage separately? Because some of them don't display the postage uh, very clearly. Anyway, this is something I already have. But because of its, you know, more rarity, I thought, well, having a second one. So another Ultimatrix. However, this is the Ultimax Ultimatrix. So what what's makes this one different from the other one? And that, because, again, I do already have one of these. Um, so these things, just bear in mind, one sold on eBay a day or two ago at the time of recording this. For £50. Before then there was another one that sold for £80. And they were both loose like this one. So yeah. You can see why. You know. When one popped up like that. I had to pick it up. Has uh, the strap. Um, I think this is a shorter strap. Than the other one. Yeah it is. It's a shorter strap. Um, going to have to take the strap out of there. This one though. Does have a little fold in the strap here. Just there. Uh, to stop it from sliding all the way out like that, which is nice. But uh, yeah, it doesn't have any batteries, however, it does take the same batteries as this, so what I'm going to do, I should have done this beforehand, is uh, simply take the batteries out of this one and put it in the other one. So you can see there, three button cell batteries. Ooh. Ooh, that one has a bit of corrosion on it. Uh, mm. Better not put that one in there, actually. Better not put that one in there, because it does have a bit of corrosion. Uh, what I'm going to do with those three batteries is I'm going to chuck them. Also clean my hand after touching that. Let's see, have I got any others? This is my battery pot, <laughs> which, as you can see quite clearly, is an old pick and mix tub. But uh, in here, thankfully, got three button cell batteries there, there, and these ones are pretty much brand new because um, they are off. A 14th Dr. Sonic screwdriver, which um, is like a month old, if that, so not very old. But uh, yeah, we'll put the batteries in. So the history of this uh, release was uh, basically this was released in like 
I think it came out in the UK like maybe late late 2011 I do remember seeing this actually in 2012 actually in TK Maxx and it was reduced to like a tenner and I'm so annoyed I didn't get it back then who knows if it would have survived until now probably because I was 13 back then and but uh, yeah I, d I didn't get it and there's a reason why there's a reason why but uh, let's let's see if it uh, powers on yes it does so this one unlike the others this one is fully self-contained and just has some sound effects in there the problem is none of the sound effects are sound effects that the actual Ultimatrix makes or any on the tricks for that matter but you can see there how it lights up basically you just turn the dial like that and uh, it's however many seconds you turn the dial for is what the sound effects mix. I think 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Okay, let's try again. I quite, I do like the design of this one. I really do like the design of this one. Uh, I'm a sucker for things in clear plastic and the fact that it lights up. It does actually say azimuth on the side. Just there, uh, that's edged into the plastic. I know a lot of people don't like this one. I'm just going to turn it off. It does have a try me mode as well. Um... Because this is technically, in terms of looks and everything, this is more accurate to the show. In fact, also, for some reason, uh, the Ultima Ultimatrix is slightly shorter as well. So yeah, it's slightly shorter, slightly smaller. It does have these little plastic bits, which I wish the other one had, because it just helps when you have it on your wrist to make it look, you know, more like it. I think it does look a bit better. But in terms of looks, I do really like this. This is my favourite in terms of looks. However, to be honest, I think they missed a trick with this. Now, this is also the slimmest one as well. It is slimmer than all of them because it has no pop-up feature and that's, this does not pop up or anything. I think if this was just like a bit... If this had the correct sound effects, which again, I don't know why it has these bizarre random sound effects, but if this was just like an Ultimatrix that just was just lights and sound effects, but, you know, were actual sound effects that the Ultimatrix actually made, like, say, a transformation sound effect or the sound of the dial going round or something like that. I think a lot more people would appreciate it and like it more, which I think, uh, you know, possibly is one of the reasons why it didn't sell particularly well, which is why there's not that m many of them around now. It was also um, the last Ultimatrix that was released as well. It came right at the tail end. Which is probably another reason because, and I can imagine, you know, parents and that going, well, well, Billy, you've got, you've got an Ultimatrix at home. Why do you need another one? Type thing as well. But yeah, I think if this had popped up as well, like, basically... In a perfect world, this would have popped up, you would have been able to slam it down, and that's basically just just the functions of this without the crystal toppers, where it basically, you know, makes a few sound effects and makes the transformation sound effect when you tap it down. Or if not, you know, just some sound effects like that. That, that would have been enough, but still, I love the look of this thing. And for 15 quid, like 15 quid cannot argue with that it is the most difficult to put on though it is the most difficult to put on and take off out of them i can tell you um the good news is you can use the strap on the ultimate uh ultimate you can use the strap on the disc ultimatrix 
on this one, which is good because uh, the strap on this one is slightly larger than this one. Uh, because this one, the strap is smaller because you've got these bits on the side as well. So, But uh, yeah, in terms of looks and that, for everything with this, I mean, it does look really nice. And the fact that it uh, lights up. But yeah, that could have done the uh, 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 mm. But it doesn't, it just does these random noises. Which, yeah. But I do like the fact that the inner casing and everything lights up as well. But yeah, it's hard to see, you know, which out of the two I prefer. Because in terms of looks, I prefer this one, even though it is inaccurate in places, but so is this one. So is this one as well. Plus this one, unless you want to cheat it by just holding down the buttons, which I do do. This one, uh, basically, you know, officially requires those discs to basically do anything. Whereas this one doesn't. But again, this one is a more expensive bugger. And that, but say, if you can find it cheap, pick it up. Or don't, I don't care, but well, there we go.